Alright, and welcome back to Albion, everybody. So, I found that some of the sound in this game was a little loud, so I turned down the speakers a little bit. But now they actually sound really quiet to me, so I'm sure they're really quiet to you guys, so I'm gonna turn mine up a little bit. We'll see how it sounds like, I'm not actually sure. Um, right, let's go talk to- <laughs> Stop juking me! Alright, let's go. Actually, I wanted to give you guys a better picture of Tom here. So he's 28 years old, he's a pilot, that's his class, and he's level 3. He has 42 strength, 50 intelligence, he's decent there, he has no magic resistance and magic talent. That's a, a bit of a hint as to things that are coming in this game. <clears throat> his lock picking is only a 15. Critical hit is zero and it can only go to eight. I think that's a percent, a straight percent. So, like, if you max it, it'd be eight percent. Long range combat and close range combat. He's actually can be decent at everything. Right now, he's not. Uh, he knows the Terran language, and that's it. Alright. I'm actually gonna examine this golden ring. It gives a protection of one. I don't know where it gets equipped, though. Right there? Cool. Cool. One more protection. It's like a ring of protection. Let's go ahead and go and find... It's not over right here. Maybe he's over here. There's a lot of stuff for me to find here. I want to make sure I find a good amount of it. This is the shuttle hangar. Oh! Pilot Driscoll. Shuttle prepared for launch. Launch calls follow... Launch call follows shortly. Finally, I must remember everything I want to take on my flight. Yep, um, we're gonna end up ignoring the uh, launch call for a while. I'm just warning you because I'm also warning you that oh, two security guards stand in front of the entrance to the comm room. This is where the ship's communicate communication units are installed. Yeah, I'm also gonna warn you that I might be on the ship for a while. The opening of this game isn't exactly short. Remember Joe, an old friend of Tom's, is currently working just behind the lower door. Oh yeah. Tongs. Might need those. Who knows? Portable handheld console. Might need that. Hey fella, you wanna keep me from my work? Good idea! Hi, Joe. Have you seen the security forces in this area? This time you look like that after you turned them off? No, we're just getting to this. Yes, they're blocking access to the comm room. Arrogant, guys. You bet. You know, I've always been curious. I'm going to have a look at the mess in the comm room. Hmm. I know how we can get by those snoops. I can show you access to, this, to the service deck. Should be able to slip past those security types can get into the comm room. What do you think? Good idea. Let's go. Okay, look. The wall panels with the green light chain... The green light chains cover the access to the service deck. You'll find one of these in the room north of this one. The access code for this deck is 1042. Behind it, you'll find a ladder going down. There, you can find a service passage into the comm area. See you soon. Take care, Tom. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we don't want to do that. Tom decides to ignore the call for the time being. Yes, for the time being indeed. And by for the time being, he does mean for a long time. What are these? A screwdriver. I don't think I'm going to a screwdriver. It's in the room north of there. Oh, it's probably this one. I know there's bullets in someone's drawer somewhere in this place. On the ship, I have, to, and I'm, I'm gonna need to find that before I leave because the bullets are kind of important. Manipulate. Enter access code. This is really weird to enter an access code, by the way. It's kind of not the easiest thing to work with, but it was 1048, right? No. Uh oh. I don't know if this game actually has a journal. These are, this is the kind of game where you just have to remember all this. I think it was 1024, actually. I don't think about it. 
I really hope it, that I'm not going to have to just already go back and talk to him again because I forgot the access code. <sighs> Sorry about this, everybody. I forgot the access code already. Because I'm pro like that. I'm super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't want to leave. Hey. Um. 1042. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, I mixed two numbers up. Alright. Maybe I'll have to get a notebook so that this sort of stuff doesn't hold me up again in the future. Oh, nope. Go. There we go. Correct code. Service panel opening. Tom climbs down to the service hall. And, oh, what is this? It's a first person mode thing? How weird. Didn't expect this from this game. Okay. Probably did. The four players in front, lights step on. It lights up, and at the same time, door open. Okay, so, this game, this game's dungeons are all like this. They're all first person. Uh, the towns, to my knowledge, are also all first person. After this foreplay lights up, the door on the west side of the room opens. They might not all be first person. Um, I know that the like buildings and sections of towns are. I've only ever been in first town, so. And I know that wandering around the town is first person. Let's manipulate this. I don't know why. Let's manipulate this one, too. That seems to have opened the door. This is kind of an introductory dungeon. I don't even think there's actually any fights in this dungeon. But there is a key to this dungeon that I need to be sure. Oh no. Right, you actually have to follow those guys through. They open the doors. Good thing to know, there's a map. Very important. Very, very important to know there's a map. Oh! sure that I don't like screw this up so I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess I'm already saving over it all right it's saved over continuing there it is there's a wall cabinet on the north wall this is important empty ready to receive objects it I believe has a connection to somewhere else in Zara and at one point here, I'm gonna get locked up. Yeah. Well, if the green mark closes, the way back is blocked. So, it's important to know that that wall cabinet is there. Trust me. It is. It's very, very important. Okay. Looks like a key panel. I'll probably have to. Oh, there's a couple of them. Let's go ahead and put in the uh, 1024 number. I'll bet it. Or 42. <laughs> 42. You know, the answer to the universe and everything. Everything was answered by the number 42. Apparently, the number combination was correct. The door beside the keypad is open. Cool. Let's keep going. So, some of you, especially if you've looked at my. This is a con room. Tom went to the floor carefully. There's no one here. The odor of scorched electronic equipment hangs in the air. No! <laughs> no! Oh, whoops. Let's not do that. Ooh. The remains of the colony, the explosion must have been devastating. I was just about to throw away. I mean, no, this is an object in the destroyed console. It's a weapon! How 
in the world did this get here? Except for security, weapons are strictly forbidden on board. An interesting find in any case. A pistol. And eight bullets. Eight is not... not very many. Uh, okay, so... The thing is, is that security is over there, and as he said, no one is allowed to have weapons on board except for security. So, if I tried to leave right now, because I can't go back this way, they would take the pistol. So what we're going to do... So now I can get back to the cabinet on the other side of this lock, then I can fool the security guards that the weapon belongs to me. Tom reached level 5. Alright, I gained two levels from that. Tom was actually only level 3. Now he's level 5. Pretty sneaky, Tom. Pretty sneaky. Yeah, look how much health I gained from that. It almost doubled my life. So... A lot of you may know that Kakaskia actually Let's Played this a while back. Um, so... I actually have gotten a lot of the information on what I'm doing in the very beginning from his Let's Play. To be honest, I did. Uh, security officers faced faces show concern and anger when they see someone walk out of the secured area. Stay right there, Driscoll. How did you get into that blocked off area? Don't move. We're going to search you. Colonel Priver searches Tom. Okay. You can go now, but be certain that we will make note of this incident in your personal records. I can promise you that. If you kept the pistol, I think you get in, probably get in a lot of trouble there, and you lose it. <laughs> Not a good idea, at any rate. The, the door didn't know. Oh. This door. Alright, so... Probably out of time here. So when I come back, I will have gotten the pistol back, and we'll go talk to Joe. So what happens, it happens, and I'll uh, talk to everybody else. And I'll talk to everybody then. See. Ya.